Every year, an estimated 30 to 70 million sharks are killed to support a growing worldwide trade in their fins and other products. Up to sort of the 1950s and 60s, the shark fin super industry was pretty small, isolated to a few wealthy individuals. But then when we saw the rise of places like Hong Kong and Taiwan and Singapore, there was an increase in demand. But that increase in demand was absolutely dwarfed with the economic expansion of China. So now in China, from our surveys, it seemed like probably around 100 million people are eating shark fin soup in China alone. And so the scale and pace of the destruction of sharks has really gone up rapidly in the last 10, 10 or so years. I've been to ports in Japan where on a single day they landed six to 7,000 sharks. I've been in ports in Taiwan where a single boat has unloaded 10,000 fins off one trip. And when you consider the magnitude of these fleets that are fishing around the world, you quickly get an idea of the scale of this industry. It's no different than killing an elephant for its tusk or dehorning a rhinoceros for its horn. People enjoy it, they like it, they feel their nutrition value. Uh, like I said, it's part of the culture like something that you believe in. Eating shark fin soup is about as cultural as foot binding of women. From my point of view, we're not saving a shark, we're saving the ocean. When we're saving the ocean, you're saving mankind. Now that we have found a way to actually make progress, we can't stop. We have to keep this wave going. This is momentum that we've never had before. And if we just stick together and keep plugging along, I think we really can stop shark fin soup.